guys, welcome to Red 5 Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So in today's video, I've got my buddy's 2016 Infinity Q50 Red Sport. Here is the Q50 Red Sport in a beautiful black. He's got some mods on it, nothing performance really just yet. We've got some Michelin tires, which will help with traction. Of course, this one does have all wheel drive. Uh, he's got some cosmetic mods here. Blacked out grill, which looks very nice. And a custom Flowmaster exhaust with carbon fiber tips. These are 4.5 inch tips. I think these tips look amazing. This Q50 Red Sport is powered by the three liter V6 twin turbo. So it's definitely got Tons of power. It makes 400 horsepower and 350 foot-pound of torque. And of course, it's all-wheel drive, which means it's going to have the traction from the dig. These VR30 motors are highly tunable, and you can make tons of power with simply with just a tune. So I'm curious how it's going to stack up against my 5.0, which of course is a naturally aspirated engine, making 460 horsepower stock, 420 foot-pound of torque. So I obviously have him on horsepower, but this one has all-wheel drive. So I feel like on roll racing... I might get him, but for dig, I feel like the all-wheel drive is going to kick in and I'm, I won't be able to have enough traction to get him. In terms of performance mods, uh, my 2019 Mustang GT is stock. As you guys know, it does have a Corsa Extreme exhaust, but doesn't really add any power. He's got the Flowmaster custom exhaust. So again, no power added. In terms of performance, they're both going to be bone stock, which you get out of the factory. Mine is equipped with a 10-speed automatic. That one's a 7-speed automatic transmission as well. So we'll try to put it both in sport modes and try to see how these cars stack up. In this video, we're going to be finding out whether the American Muscle 2019 Mustang GT is going to be able to take the JDM Infiniti Q50 Red Sport. We'll be doing a couple different runs. We'll be trying out from the roll and also dig racing because obviously with the all-wheel drive, I have to see how much that really helps. Even though I have him on the power, it's going to be interesting to see what the result is going to be. Of course, we have a very long drive to Mexico to be able to do that. So probably going to be recording this tomorrow. So let's get in the car and head to Mexico. straight.
Well, the results are in and are pretty much what we expected. Since the Q50 Resport has all-wheel drive, it pretty much launched from the dig and it was pretty hard to get him. I started gaining ground towards the end, but because of the all-wheel drive advantage, you just couldn't keep up. Um, maybe if I have better tires, like if I get wider tires, I will probably have better luck. Or if I have a little bit more horsepower, if I tune it, I can probably get him much easier. Now from the roll, I was able to take him pretty much without a problem because I do have 60 more horsepower and the advantage of the all-wheel drive from the Q50 wasn't really helping him from a roll race. So what's interesting to me is that even roll racing, I felt like he would get the lead sometimes initially, which kind of speaks about the seven speed automatic transmission in the Q50 being a little bit more responsive in terms of the kickdown. Even though 10 speed transmission downshifts really quickly and has really quick shifts, there are times where it thinks for a little bit. And I think that's what happened in those instances. I would floor it, the car would think for a split second and then go. And from that, obviously he would catch the lead and then I would reel him in. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what you think about the runs. And as always, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more content.